Hi everyone, my name is Avora Gunko, Avora Pro Fit. I am a plant-based nutritionist, a bodybuilder, WNBA Bikini Pro, and a worldwide fitness coach. I stopped eating meat from nine years old. I went completely vegan about eight years ago when I moved to the United States and I realized that obesity is a really huge problem in America. So I kind of switched my focus on nutrition and plant-based lifestyle and I decided to get ready for my first ever bikini show, completely vegan. I hired a coach and he told me it's impossible and I said, watch me <laughs> and I won that show. And from that time, I started to inspire other people, maybe not fully switch to the plant-based diet, but at least reduce the meat intake. And I trying to show people that plant-based bodybuilding is possible. Wow, did you notice any changes after you went vegan, physiologically, mentally, and health? -wise? As I said, I don't eat meat from nine years old. Yeah. So for me, it wasn't a big switch because I almost all my life, I didn't eat meat. But I was eating dairy and fish sometimes. So when I quit dairy, I felt significant difference in my skin, in my performance in the gym and recovery. So dairy tends to get a lot of inflammation in our body. So that was a really huge switch. So um, if you feel like, I just figured out if you feel like you have a lot of inflammation or any past injuries, if you quit just dairy, you're gonna have a much better recovery. Any challenges? So again, like I'm most likely like don't have a lot of challenges because I wasn't eating meat when I was a small kid, right? But I would say um, the only challenge I have is actually to show others that it's easy, <laughs> right? So I have clients who comes to me and they like, oh, it's so hard. And then that challenge for me is to show other people that Plant-based diet is not hard at all, it's not expensive, which is also a big mistake. Uh, and it's actually easy nowadays. And that's, I guess, a challenge, right? Because every time when you speak to someone, the first question that you got, wait, what? How do you like don't eat meat, right? How do you get your proteins? So the challenge sometimes is just to every day hear this question <laughs> and then nicely explain that you better try because it's awesome and I promise you're gonna love it. <laughs> Could you be with somebody who isn't vegan? Oh yeah, my husband, I am married and when we got married for about four years, he was a meat eater. I wouldn't say meat lover, but he ate meat and I even cooked meat for him because I loved him, right? And I never wanna push anyone to switch to the plant-based diet because I believe everyone have, um, you know, a choice, right, that you made. And if any diet work for you, maybe you can follow it, but just make sure, you know what I mean, to do your best. Because a lot of the time I also feel like people are too worried to be 100% vegan, right? So they are, don't even want to add some plant-based alternatives because they are feel, you know, too much pressure of being vegan. There's too much pressure sometimes for people to be a purist. Maybe. Yes, yeah. yes. They, everyone's trying to be perfect and it's not, it's, it's impossible, okay? Tell, t I telling you that I don't eat meat from six years old and I'm on the base 100%, but I live and you live in unplanned based world, unfortunately, right? So sometimes it cannot be possible, right? It's, you cannot be perfect. Sometimes you go, I don't know, like, like I'm traveling and I'm, in a hotel and this is non-vegan shampoo that I have to use, right? Yeah. Would it consider me to be a non-vegan anymore? Would I worry about that as much, right? But people are like that. So I think even if you don't want to fully go plant-based and just add a little bit of meat alternatives, more vegetables in your diet, start slow, do your part. That would be a big change for whole world. Yeah, yeah. So your husband, he's vegan now? Yes, I never pushed him to switch, but living with a plant-based nutritionist, he just figured out that it's so much easier to don't eat meat, yeah. I guess, because I actually like never push him to switch. How long has he been vegan now? Uh, over five years. Good job, awesome. And, and now what kind of credentials do you have? I'm a certified nutritionist, I'm a WN Bikini Pro, I am NPC competitor as well, and I am online fitness coach. Uh, with over like 17 years of experience working with the people around the world. I have a different clients, not all of them vegan, but what I try to do is just help anyone to find the balance 
uh, meal plan, the balanced diet to feel uh, your best and you know perform your best. Do you have the, like a, a website that's specifically about that if somebody needed help with? Yes, uh, on my website you first of all can find absolutely free ebook um, for plant-based startup if you wanted to try it out and you are kind of don't know where to start. I also have a lot of free videos right there with the recipes and some workouts that you can try it out and yeah, help yourself. What are some of your major accomplishments that you would like to share? So I'm actually working on one major one, as I believe, because I'm trying to write a book right now. And I think it's just really going to be great for me because I wanted to put all my knowledge in the one book and then just to help people around. Don't look for a coach, just pick up a book and be your own coach. So I think I'm on the way to my biggest one. But overall, I think the biggest accomplish for me is just to help people. I'm not going to be uh, lying just saying that if I help one person to get off diabetes by switching to the plant-based diet, that's already biggest accomplish for me. That's enough for me to be happy. Yeah. What's a day like in your life, uh, routine-wise, uh, nutrition-wise, exercise-wise? Well, I guess I'm lucky because I'm my own boss, right? So it could be different, depends, but most likely I do work out uh, five days a week in a gym. I like to train. Um, I do eat plant-based about three meals a day with some snacks here and there. I work online, so my work, it could be any time that I am available. I have a lot of calls with people all over the world with a consultation and stuff like that. And I also have my podcast that I um, actually do quite a bit, almost like three times a week. And then your meals, what are those like? Being such a long time plant-based, I don't even use a lot of plant-based meat alternatives. It's interesting because when you just switch to the plant-based diet, you're looking to replace meat, then you're looking to replace cheese, right, or fish. With me, if anything look even like meat, I would not gonna want it. So my meals are really simple, but at the same time, I love to cook. So my breakfast would look like, it could be anywhere from like oatmeal with the protein powder, simple like as that, or it's gonna be fancy like baked, uh, you know, protein pancakes, but it's usually sweet. I have a sweet tooth in the morning and I, I drink one cup of coffee, black, just straight coffee in the morning um, with some type of like chocolate or something sweet that makes me feel good. Uh, I, I usually have snack, like pre-workout snack because I train in the morning. So after the breakfast, while I'm driving to the gym, I could have an apple or berry uh, or protein bar. After my workout for lunch, it could be any type of grain, like rice, buckwheat, um, couscous with vegetables. And what I love is the best is tempeh and tofu. I believe this is the complete protein source. I, I actually gonna talk about this today, about complete plant-based proteins, because a lot of misconception about plant-based protein not being complete, right? Uh, because it doesn't have all the essential amino acids. So tempeh and tofu is actually on the higher end of the best complete proteins, and I like them so much. Dinner is usually some type of a lot of grains and vegetables. I like to eat big salads for dinner if I'm not going out for like a sushi place or something, again, with the protein. And then a small uh, hack I like to use, it's actually just recently, it's just really great to have, a, you know, good plant-based yogurt before you go to bed. So I like to get that with um, a real probiotics. It sounds like you don't worry about like eating within a small frame of time. No. Uh, like intermittent I, fasting, you don't do any of that? No, I don't actually do that. Uh, I don't feel good when I fast, right? I like eat, be full, I like to eat, uh, but it's not mean that I'm against any other options, right? I have a different clients who do different stuff. It's just, again, what works for you and for your body. You ever get any bloating, cramps, uh, you know, like excessive gas and stuff that oh. some people complain about, like IBS? Oh, you know? I have a lot of talk about that in my podcast. It's usually happened when you have um, too much fiber in your diet and fiber could be soluble and unsoluble. So you just have to make sure that in your meal you have both types of fiber and that's going to help like make your gut happy, I would say. Also small hugs that I recommend to anyone if they have a problem like that is uh, probiotics. 
and they don't have to be from dairy because it, this is the best that probiotics in plant-based yogurts are plant-based. So you can have yogurt or any type of like um, kombucha drink or uh, sourdough. So if you have that daily, you will gonna make your gut happy. But just make sure to stay consistent, okay? It's hard when clients come to me and they say, I tried, and I'm like, how long you tried to do something? And they're like, day or a week. I'm like, you have to be consistent for at least 24 weeks to see if anything worked for you or not. I also do take probiotics every morning before I eat. Just a plant-based probiotic with a glass of water with one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to start out my stomach and wait about 15 minutes before I eat. And then one last but not at least thing I would recommend to anyone is do your stomach vacuums. If you have any problem with your digestion, this is a really nice thing to do to wake up your digestive system. And they have absolutely free uh, video guide how to do it on my website, if you're interested. A stomach vacuum? Yes. <laughs> what is that? Oh, go on my website and check it out. Well, even uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger did it in his bodybuilding days. Wow. That's so popular for bodybuilders because they're looking to get a smaller waistline, but in general, from nutrition perspective, it's just really good for your digestion. It's like massaging your whole organs with your stomach, right? Because you're doing some breathing exercises, sucking in your stomach, sucking out. It's just specific ones and holding your breathe that helps to massage your whole organs and wake up your digestion tract. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a stomach exercise. Yes, it's oh. like sucking in your stomach, hold the breeze, then release. Yeah, it's like a technique that's easy again. It's easy, you just have to stay consistent. I'll tell you, I didn't skip my stomach vacuum for like 15 years, not even a day. Wow, and where are we at today? We might as well pitch where we're at, huh? Yes, we are in a vegan uh, fitness expo in Fort Lauderdale, guys. Today is a big, huge plant-based event, and I'm so happy to be here. Let's make sure we got your website in there. What is it again? It's auroraprofit.com. How do you spell that? A V as in victory, R O R A, profit.com. You have yeah. a you have a quote you want to share? Well, my favorite one is Carpe Dio, which is from Spanish, um, catch a moment. What does that mean? Like, well, for me, uh, it's mean I live in the moment, be present. With all the social media, and I work in social media, right? I always on my phone, online, and I love it. But during the COVID, especially when it's gone, finally, I really figured out that I like to be in the moment and feel, listen, accept what's going on, and then try to really be grateful for whatever's going on, like today, such an amazing event. We're gonna meet people in real life, finally, right? So yeah, it just means for me, uh, enjoy a moment. Kind of like mindfulness. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate your time. You're you. beautiful and, and amazing, and, and it's an honor to have you here. Thank you so much.